So in December, I flew in from Tampa to New York to head to the city to see my friend for the weekend. I took the train from Long Island to head into Penn Station to get to um, the Upper East Side. I decided to call an Uber because that's what I normally do and realized the Uber was 30 minutes away and that it was just going to be a hassle finding it. So I was looking around and a guy came up to me and he was like, oh, do you need a ride? I'm like, yes, thinking it was a taxi cab. So I go over to his ride, find that it's a pedicab, and a pedicab is kind of like a horse and buggy without the horse. So this guy was going to take me on his bike all the way to the Upper East Side from Penn Station. So I get in thinking, you know, I know it's going to be a little extra money, but whatever, it's only going to be about a 30 to 45 minute ride, and I just wanted to get there as fast as I can. So we're in there, and you know, everything seems fine, it is cold, it is raining, um, I find it weird that I am on a bike. so. You know, about halfway through the trip, my friends, they're texting me because they have the, my location on my phone. And they're like, Sarah, like, where are you going? Like, JC's apartment is not over there. I'm like, oh, like, I don't know. He told me he was going to just take me this way. So I finally asked him, I was like, where are we going? And he was like, oh, you said the Upper West Side. And I was like, no, like, I clearly showed you the address and I stated to you, please take me to the Upper East Side. So we were going back and forth and fighting about that. Um, and it was already like almost 10 o'clock. So I was getting kind of annoyed. So he finally was like, okay, um, I'll take you to the Upper East Side, even though it was already late and um, we were on the other side of the city. So we're going through Central Park and everything, you know, going through like sketchy ways. He said he had a shortcut. So I was like, whatever, just take me to the apartment, just get me there. So we finally get to the apartment. I was like, okay, this is probably gonna be a 70 to $100 trip. Turns out it's $400. He said it was $6 a mile or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but it was an absurd amount that didn't make sense. So he felt bad because he did take me out of the way, so he ended up cutting it down to a little over 300, which obviously is still a ridiculous amount. So I ended up paying, which you know I wasn't too happy about, but I had no choice, and I ended up making up to my friend's apartment, and honestly, the whole reason why I was even there was to attend SantaCon, which is where you dress up and um, you go to the bars in New York City. So I ended up did making it. Here's me and my friends in the city. And the other thing, you know, that ended up being positive about this experience is we realized this was a scam. My dad looked into it more and we did find out that he didn't, you know, provide the right instruction. The company name wasn't there and didn't provide to me the rates. So we ended up getting my $300 back. So pretty much my lesson learned was to be patient and to ask questions before I get on a ride not knowing anything about it.